model, which can be accessed 24 hours a day on the school's web, has clear guidelines for behaviour case management and identification. This flowchart is an easy reference and demonstrates each stage and process and the roles of each of the key parties such as the teacher, principal and counsellor. The role of the teacher um, is extremely important. Um, previously, um, there has been, I suppose, a bit of an expectation from teachers um, that there might be someone better able or better equipped to handle a student who might have a social or a mental health need. The teachers are the first port of call. It is their responsibility in the first place to actually look at that student's needs in the context of their learning, their behaviour and their social skills. And if there are issues, the teacher is in the best place to actually be a starting place to actually analyse, collect data, collect information, then refer it. Each step lists questions to help identify the exact course of action that needs to be taken, starting with isolating learning, behavioural and social signs. This is supported by a teacher coordinator situation analysis tool. If someone came to me and thought that there was a child with um, speech needs, it's very easy to go in to, to find that it'll give um, a definition of what that might be or what might look like and then a process to work through. Teachers may also be required to gather other information from student records and by speaking with parents or other staff. Resources and processes are clearly displayed with hyperlinks and downloadable material to help develop and implement an individual support plan. In some high-risk instances, the teacher will be guided to refer the case immediately to a counsellor, school principal and or psychologist. In other cases, it will be referred on to the school's wellbeing committee, a process that has already been adopted by some schools with great success. The committee has somebody who brings to the uh, committee pastoral needs and pastoral side of things at our school, so that's our religious coordinator. We had a learning support teacher on there and she would bring things like if they need occupational therapy or special learning needs, school counsellor and myself and I suppose my role on the committee was more to do with behaviour management. We meet once a week and from that we have a look at the child, the problems that they may be having and what area best you know that we can direct those students into. With the existing resources that we have it's impossible for us to be able to see um, all of the children, young people and families that are referred to us. So this is about building the capacity of staff to be able to deal with those issues on the ground and we can then work in a really complementary way um, and a collaborative way um, with teaching staff and with the schools around you know, how we address wellbeing for all in schools um, collectively and more strategically. It's the teacher who makes the difference, it's the teacher who works with that child. So with the teacher taking control, making sure that they have an understanding in the first place that's where the real differences will happen.